Well, when I was about 10 perhaps, there was a little aquarium on a shelf in the back veranda of my parents' home. It was only about 18 inches by 12 by 12. It had a couple of goldfish in there. And uh, for some reason, I just wanted to have them breed. Uh, decided to help spread the rainbow fish around the world by breeding them in my fish rooms. And I had a lot of aquariums to do that. And I'd, I'd set up several species with just a, a pair or a trio in each tank. I'd make up orders for aquarists in America, Belgium, Germany, uh, various parts of the world. Uh, 20 years later, I was still breeding from the same line of fish without introducing any other species or any other uh, specimens from anyone else that was breeding them. I'm quite proud that I went to the second meeting of the Native Fishers Association and at the meeting we were wondering what we would call this. Suddenly I was messing around with New Guinea, Australia, Fishers, uh, Society, Association, played around with the first letters of each of them and I suddenly yelled out, ANGFA! And Angfa now has a fish named after it, Melanotania Angfa. And I felt like the father. I was quite emotional about that. And in time, uh, uh, my activity in breeding over 220 species of tropical fish uh, was recognised with the Breeders, the Breeders Achievement Award. I'd far more than any others in, that we were competing with. But I lost count after 220, I didn't bother uh, recording any after that. I thought that's enough. It's like winning a footy competition every year. You give up after a while. So it wasn't about how many fish I could breed. It never was. If I could breed the fish and come back with some of those fish five or ten years later and still have the same quality with the fish, I was happy. And part of that uh, was why I became the first life member of uh, ANCFA National. Yeah, I think if somebody runs up the flag with Ron Bowman written on it, and you think, oh wow, that's nice. You don't necessarily expect it, but uh, when it happens, it's nice. Yeah, I was something of a legend, I suppose. But uh, now, as a, as a, I, I class myself as a heritage-listed old person at 88. Uh, I think a lot of what I've done has been forgotten. It's hard to tell what my life would have been without my passion for breeding fish. Um, the comment I'll make here, some people breed fish because they want to, and grow plants because they want to get an income to offset the cost of heating their fish rooms and that. To me that was something that was an absolute no-no for me because if I'd had a, an economic interest in it, I'm sure I would never have discovered some of the things that I did discover by observation, which took a lot of time. And uh, I guess I've always been a perfectionist in observing things. And uh, I suppose a good dis description of me would be a fusspot. But it's good fun. <laughs>